All right, here we are in the finals. Let's see uh, what our opponent's up to. We lost the die roll, but this is a perfectly fine opener. In fact, it's just a darn good one. Um, basically, turn one court homunculus. All right, there's a Bayloth. And then uh, we get to turn two Ethereum Sculptor, turn three Fairy Mechanist. Ugh. That's, that's kind of yucky. Um, still going to stick with the same line, though. I could run the Archibound, the Archibound Stinger out there, but I think I just want to turbo out a bunch of stuff here. But that Thalid Shell Dweller is one of the best defensive creatures and two mana that you can get. Ooh, a path. I could accelerate our opponent and get that thing out of the way. That might actually be something that we do down the line, though I think at the moment we, we will not. Uh, I think I'm just going to run this thing out there. Grab another Ethereum Sculptor. That's going to let us play Ethereum Sculptor and this for free next turn. Play one. Yeah, not quite a Finx in there, but that's not too bad. Take one. Dirkwood Bayloth. Uh, Dirkwood Bayloth is probably going to have to get pathed here. We really want to. What we really want to do is find uh, one of our engines or just a bunch of our flyers. All right, Nantuko Shaman. Okay, sure. There's an engine. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we don't need blue for anything here. So let's play this. Play this. And a t Oop, I did it again. Because that's free now. Don't, I don't know if I want to run the, the Sanctum Gargoyle out here, though. I feel like we can grind him down, but if I just put up another, that would, would give me five power in the air and just make him come up with something in the air to beat my my flyers. I don't really see how any of my guys are dying anytime soon, so I think I'm kind of just going to do this. He's going to have a, a Nantuko Shaman and a... Uh, whatever it's called, a, tha a sapperling. So he's going to draw a card. One more turn for the Bayloth. I don't know that we care about it too much at this point. We're just going to take this damage. Hopefully this is a... Yeah! Yeah! That's supposed to stop everything for him. But I offer you Path to Exile. Now, that means this Bayloth is going to live, which is annoying. But we can block it forever. And we just need to apply pressure in the air. And we're going to hit him for 5, 10, 15, and hopefully get in for that one last damage somewhere. Oh, I don't like that I gave him red mana, though. Oh, I like that. Uh, let's see. When this enters the battlefield, if you control no tap lands, draw a card, and then this thing would return it at the beginning of the next end step. So if I do that, then it'll come back on the end step. He will control these things, and I will be fine. Um, alternatively, I could bounce our fairy mechanist. So let's see here. So we're getting in for two, four, two, four, five, no matter what. If I attack with this, this, and this, I get in for one extra damage, which I actually do need to get in here. He would just block a one of our Ethereum Sculptors. If I Flicker Wisp this thing away, I get in for one additional extra damage, which isn't relevant. So I don't need to do that. So I think I can just attack with everything here. Give away one Ethereum Sculptor. Uh, play Flicker Wisp, Blink, Fairy Mechanist get another card out of it hopefully so let's do that
This will set up a two turn clock. Oh, I forgot he can just chump. Forgot he can chump with a sapperling. Well, I guess we just make him chump with a sapperling then. Or maybe he just won't. All right, so he didn't anyway. All right. Flicker wisp. I can flicker wisp the sapperling away. Don't think I care anymore. Uh, let's just get the. Let's just try to grind value here. I just. I'm more concerned with stuff in the air at this point. Like this. Go. Yeah. So next turn's really nice for us. Uh, assuming we don't get uh, tromped here for like four or five. Then we get to Kitchen Finks and Bone Splitter. So that's three, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's lethal. So yeah, he just needs to kill us here or put up something that can block in the air. If he can't, he's dead. With our line as it stood before, it was more important because we didn't know we were going to get the bone splitter on our end step. That's what turns it into a one turn clock. So he just needs like a removal spell here to stay alive for a turn. Yeah, Hirobi's Whisper will do it. So we have to be careful, though. Kitchen Finks could certainly be relevant. We're going to have this, this, and a Finx back, though. Even if he kills our Flicker Wisp or whatever. Yeah, he pulsed our Flicker Wisp. That's okay. So, it's going to be another turn. Um... So three, four, five, six, seven, and then I play that thing. Could leave one of these back and just try to hit him twice. I think we're okay here. Just hope we don't get tromped. That's really the only thing. We're going to be at 14, but his tromp would be full overrun status. So it looks like it'd be close to lethal. I haven't really done the math, but... <clears throat> There isn't anything we can do anyway, so go. He also has a mana short here currently. It would be 18 we can block. Four, so it would be lethal. Yeah, let's see what he has. All right, he's got nothing. Okay. Do we want to change anything? I think I want a blinding beam against this guy. Uh, those spiders are scary. And Bound in Silence, Path to Exile, Blinding Beam. So that's nice. Uh, the Flicker Wisps to get them out of the way. Uh, same thing with Aether Spellbomb. Hmm, I wonder if I even need... I actually don't even know if I need this uh, blinding beam now that I think about it. I actually don't think I do at all. Yeah, no, we're fine. My, the just the the cards that I happen to have work well against it, so it's just lucky, basically. If he shows us a ton of uh, of sapperlings, we can bring in engineered explosives for zero. But uh, yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, this this hand's okay. Could use a little more early action, but couldn't they all? All right, he does nothing. Um, sure, I'm just gonna cycle this thing. I mean, I don't even really need to, but.
But I do want to have something to get with my Sanctum Gargoyle. I kind of like having these backup plans, though, against these big clunker decks that are trying to put a bunch of mana into, like, Dirkwood Bayloths and stuff where you can just time walk them. That said, we don't really have any pressure right now, and I'd like to get that going. So I'm going to cycle one of those. Yeah, there we go. And there's that, which doesn't do much here. Uh, go ahead. I'm just going to be thirst for knowledge in here. Anything we pitch, we can get back. I can also just get back that. Let's see if he has a spider here. Masked admirers. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, not a particularly good bounce target either, so that might get pathed at some point. It depends on if we need to. Wow, okay. Um... Court homunculus is actually okay here. Wow, these are all kind of sweet. I can do a lot, a lot of stuff next turn. I can go Ethereum Sculptor for two, pay another blue for an Ethereum Sculptor, and then that's two, four, five. Not quite play a Mirror Enforcer, but I could play a homunculus and be pretty well set up at that point. Homunculus is nice because it 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 trades with masks, masked admirers. I need to pitch an artifact though. Yeah, I guess I'll just ditch this homunculus. Ooh, what does that do? Uh, let's see here. Ethereum sculptor. All right, so run this. Ethereum sculptor. Ethereum Sculptor, so two, four, five, six. So yeah, still one short. Can't quite cast this yet either. Um, I can certainly double block here though. Yeah, go ahead. Oh baby. Shields are up. Yeah, I'll double block if he wants. Uh, no, that's really bad for me. I'm just going to take it. I can just bound and silence that thing if I need to. I just need to get this Cloud, cloud Goat Ranger going, basically. Flicker Wisp, Cloud Goat Ranger. All right, so I need white mana uh, pretty badly here. This thing doesn't do much in this board state as it sits. So let's get a flyer going. And I'm going to get back this uh, Aether Spell Bomb so that I can uh, do stuff. Drag down. All right. Oh, can I get... Oh, I do. Oh, bummer. I was hoping I could <laughs> target that, but it wasn't there when it entered, so that's not possible. No attacks, your move. But now at least the Mirror Enforcer is going to hold off this Masked Admirers for a while. Um, so I just need to hit white. Like if I can get Cloud Goat Ranger going, then things start getting good for me. Um, yeah. Kakusho. It's not leaves the battlefield, right? No, it dies. All right, so I can path and or bound and silence that and feel fine about it. Can do this for now. I can also just bounce Kakusho. I think I'm just gonna bound it in silence here. And I'm gonna draw a card here too. I wanna try to hit this planes. Sure. Well, I didn't hit a planes. No attacks again. Ground game's pretty short up until I hit a uh, what's it called? A uh, the bone splitter. Search away. Go get a mountain.
Plains? Vivid Creek, that's a lot like a Plains. Go ahead. All right, so you guys know the plan. Cloud Goat Ranger, Flicker Wispit, Bounce It, whatever. Penumbra Spider. All right, I can path that if I need to, but I don't need to right now. Oh, Perilous Research. That's nice, too. Let's get the goat down. Yeah, Perilous Research is sweet here. Just sack up an island or something that we don't need anymore. And get a couple of cards going. That's pretty nice. All right, so let's send him skyward. He can use his penumbra spider here if he needs to, but all right, he's not going to. Uh, let's play Perilous Research first. I might hit an, a planes that I want to play here. Uh, didn't. We'll sack that. Yeah, I mean, I like sticking with our game plan here. I don't like not having access to path for this turn, but I just I'm just concerned that he's going to get us with uh, with Trump. Dirkwood Bayloth. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to let him have that. Basically, have to leave up path now. I could just kill I could just path this thing I suppose. I better do that, huh? If Trump's the last card in his hand, then pathing something is gonna have to happen anyway, so let's just path. Get rid of that. And we just have to hope he doesn't have Trump. Cause I think we're dead anyway. One, two, three, four. I mean I get to bounce something. Maybe we're not even dead. Now I can give it plus two again, so it's so that would be that would be ten damage, and it would mean that it's lethal the next turn. But I'd have to tap these three blockers. That's probably okay. All right, let's attack first and see if he does anything, because this is a two-turn clock as it sits anyway. Nah, eh, he's gonna let me do it. All right, double flying. That way, if he kills our uh, our flicker wisp, we're still we're not just dead dead. So one, two, three. He's actually got five though. Yeah, we've got we've got some amount of toughness on defense here. We get to get rid of his Dirkwood Bayloth if he goes for Trump, but I think it's still just lethal here. There it is. Yeah, it's got to be lethal. The full five. Uh, well, we'll do the math here and, and see if we can live. So it's 6, 12, 18, 25, minus 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is that exactly lethal? Well, let's bounce this guy and block a bunch of stuff. I mean, we can do all the math, but it doesn't really matter. Um... Just block everything. Sweet. Being at one is like way better than being at zero. <laughs> okay, 
so we got there. Um, that was kind of fun. Uh, I might do modern masters again next week. I'll still be here in, in Las Vegas. Um, but, uh, but I, I kind of want to do these while they're here. I've really, really, really enjoyed this format, and I think it's a really interesting and deep one. I don't want to neglect the uh, the Dragon's Maze format, but at the same time, like, man, it's hard to turn down these ones when they're so, so, so sweet. Um, anyway, if you want to give any feedback, limited resources podcast at gmail.com. If you want to follow on Twitter, Marshall underscore LR. If you want to join the clan, two, two things you need to know. One, you can't be a jerk and join the clan. And two, you have to love magic if you want to join the clan. Otherwise, you're in. Send me a message, Marshall underscore LR, and I'll get you an invite. It's that easy. Uh, If you want to find all the stuff that I do, it's all at LRcast.com. Guys, thanks for watching.